Hey everyone, let's make a to-do app in react.js As you can see here, this is our final app, our to-do list that we are going to build. We can add things by just writing and by clicking this add button. Also, if we have completed anything, then we can change its style by just pressing completed. Also, we can delete any task. Now for the starter code, I'm not going to write the whole CSS file in this video. So I'll just share the starter code with you guys. You only have to just clone the starter code repo from the link in the description and do npm install and npm start and you are ready to build to do app. If you like then you can pause the video and clone that repo right now. Let's open our VS code and if you have already cloned the repo then in the component folder you can see one CSS file. And simple title in the app.js file. Now let's start server using npm start. And it's running. As you can see here, there is only to do list title and nothing else. So this is the output of a starter code. Now we are going to build our to-do component. Let's create to-do app.js file in the component folder. And we are going to build it in the functional component. So let's just write to-do app here and import it in the app.js file. It's working fine. Let's not forget to import CSS file in our component. I have already defined the CSS classes in the CSS file. So don't change this class name, just write as it is. So first write to do in the class name. Now we need an input field with type text. Just change its name and id to text. And write add task here in the placeholder. Save it and check. It is working fine and CSS is also working. Now we need add button. So we just add one button with the class add dash button. It looks good. We need a state to store input field value and for that we are going to use use state. And just name it task with the initial value to empty string.
also we need a handle change method so let's create one and this handle change method we pass the value of input field and set the task state now call this handle change method in the input field on on change event we are going to pass e as an event so that we can have an input value from e dot target dot value let's check if our handle change is working and setting state and for that let's create on click method for add button and we are going to just lock the task state press F12 to open console write something and it's showing in the console so it's working fine we'll create another state to manage a whole list of tasks let's name it as a task list and initialize with an empty array we are going to add task in task list using add task method let's start with condition which states that if task is not empty string then we are going to create object of task let's say task details and in this object we will have three fields one is id which can be any random number in between 0 to 1000 we can implement this by simply using a math dot random method and multiply it by 1000 we need an integer value so we will use the math dot floor The second field is the value itself which is stored in the task state. The last field is is completed which is a boolean value and at the beginning it always going to be false. Let's set this task details in task list state. First we are storing a previous state previous state value using a spread operator and after that we append our task detail object. Let's log our values to see if it's working or not. Save it and type anything and let's click just click add button and yes it's working fine now we are going to display that task list values let's create a conditional rendering which means when a task list is not empty we are going to display list as nothing Just write ul tag. In this ul tag, we are going to map each task values from task list.
for task t show its value in the li element as a t dot value and class name of li element as list item now don't change the class name unless you made any changes to the css file let's save it and let's add something it's showing it correctly it's working fine Now we need two buttons, one for delete and one for complete it. Let's add a button with the class delete. And it's working. Let's add another one with the class completed. Okay, so our buttons are on the position. Just remove this log line. Let's create delete method. Const delete. We are passing E for prevent any default events and ID. ID is to uniquely identify task we want to delete. Now to delete any task, set task list by using a filter keyword where for each task its id must not equal to the id of the task we want to delete. In simple terms, we are filtering our task list by not storing the task we want to delete. Let's call this delete method in our button and pass the arguments e for event and t dot id as a task id it's working great we need a method for completed task And in this method, same as the delete method, we are going to pass same two arguments. In this method, we have to change the is completed attribute or property to a true of specific task. So what we will do? First, Let's find the index of the element or task we want to change using a find index with its id. After that, we 
just copy the array of object in the new task list variable using a spread operator and edit our task which is at a specific index and for that we will write new task list with index of our element and we will change its value first use the spread operator to keep the old values we only want to change the is completed to true that's it now we have updated our task element so set task list with the new task list let me tell you what we did again we first find the index of the task in the task list and then we copied that list to a new list in the new list at specific index we change the value of that particular element and and set a new list to a task list this is how you can change or update the object value in the array of objects now on click event of completed button call this method save same as we did in the delete button let's save it and check it's not working because to make a change in style of element we have to toggle the classes and to toggle this classes we will use is completed property so in the class name we are going to put a condition if task t dot is completed is true then the class name is cross text or set its class to a list item so now we are good to go so whenever we click on completed it will set the is completed property to true and the class will be the cross text and it's working great so everything is working fine now link for the final code of this tutorial is also in the description but don't just copy it without following this tutorial that's the end for this video make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe because these are the only things that motivates me to create more content for you thanks for watching